Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 26 of the Foster Child Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And I have the link to the rules as well as my tweaks to the rules down in the description down below. And the main goal that I'm working towards is to raise 20 children to young adulthood after they meet certain goals, which are noted down below. And we're pretty much very soon after we left off last time, the party did end. We had already got the gold before the end of the party. Shahir is back from school. Little Sean went and grabbed himself some cake and he's crashed from that. So he's very angry because he's tired and he has a sugar crash or whatever that is. But I sugar now he wants some. But you know what? He's going to bed so it doesn't really matter. But he uh, had to go potty. So I decided to have our new young adults. In this case it was... Beatrice working on her parenting skill and helping Sean work on his potty skill. And of course, he's going to wake up hungry because, of course, that cake did nothing for his hunger. If I'd realized it did so little for his hunger, I probably would have stopped him from eating it and had him eat something else. I had tried to get him to eat some real food, but he, you know, didn't listen to me. <laughs> so he ate cake instead. No, you're not doing that. I think I have it set up for Beatrice to try and read him to sleep. We're going to test that. No, it sounds like there's a humor and hijinks festival. And was he on the right one? He was. So you're going to actually do your extra credit work. Oh, you're not, a, you didn't get a, you're still a C student. Oh my goodness. Let me go in here and change these traits a little bit. Let me see what we have. No, we don't. We do have good schools, so I don't need to change that trait. So you don't have any homework to do, but one thing that will help you with your responsibility is let's have him place that in the world. And he can work on that. I'm going to take this cake. I should be paying attention to that toddler to make sure Sean gets to bed. Okay, so you place it in the world. I'm going to move it a little bit. And you're going to come here and start working carefully. And you know what, Kara? Why don't you come help? Because I think that will help you with your, with your parenting skill. And since you're hanging around here for a little bit until I'm ready to add some more toddlers, which I am still... I don't know if I'm still looking because I'm pre-recording this one part just because I wanted to test something. So, okay, so you need to go to sleep. So can you try again and say bedtime story? I want to see if this works from Beatrice. And I'm having them do it because I really want them to... Well, maybe she is doing it and he didn't really know. Oh, that helps with their rocket science skill. But once Kara Sue is finished helping... Shahir with his homework. And I'm going to put that cake over here. Let's see where he is in terms of his, his symbology. So his responsibility has moved up a little bit. I think it had been a little bit red and the manners was what I was and the conflict resolution I had been working on with the uh, parents. And Nicholas is going to work. Does he need to work hard? Let's check him. He's well, and I'll hopefully check back and see whether he needs that. Uh, so you don't really need to play with that. So what can you do? You should take a shower is what you should do because you're kind of dirty. Take a thoughtful shower, and you've got everything you need to do for that. And actually what you should have done is, oh, he didn't have homework to do. So we didn't have a, homework, a child to help with another time because I was thinking he had his... <laughs> He would have got his B, but he didn't. So you're going to come here. Is there something broken? Did I see something flashing? I don't see it. So we're going to have you come pay the bills after you've done that. Hopefully that will actually trigger. I'm thinking he got read to sleep. Party elation from attending a party. And, of course, he's tired, low energy. So she's there. And what is this? Of course, I had said for him. So you have to perform club activities. Because she really needs to move out to actually work on her aspiration. But you know what I'm going to do? What I did say I was going to do with her is I'm going to get her a job. I'm going to uh, scroll down, find a job. She's going to about to think about. Her. So I have noticed that they consider that the kids, anybody that's sort of raised at the same time as them as their family members even though they're not actually related. I may have commented on that before. So we're going to, because she's the one who's supposed to be in the city, we're going to have her be a critic. And, yeah, she has to write a column and she has to get to level three of writing skill. Level up, right, okay, that's fine. 
I'll probably just have her work from home and hope that that it's not <laughs> impossible like easy task and they're none of them are impossible but some of them you have to go travel around to do and other ones are, are simple to do so she may as well work on this best-selling author while she has to do some writing though I suppose she all she needs to do is uh, no, all she has to do is level up her writing school and reach level. So she had to write. Oh, she has a work from home activity already. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> I think that's the same as the daily tasks. So what I think what I was saying at the end of the last part is that the responsible trait, when they age up with it, they are supposed to be getting uh, the one of the rewards is that they don't need to do their daily task but for some reason in my game i'm noticing that all of a sudden that all my sims who have the responsible trait no matter what the save they all have to do their work from home tasks and i even took out mc command to see if that was the problem but it didn't seem to make a difference and i see there's a baby who's upset is there anyone around who's going to look after the nannies came and then they left so i think right now we have no nannies in the house so you're going to stop that and you're going to come actually come and uh, change that dirty diaper and then we'll take a look and see what Oliver's needs are. And I'm having the young adults do this so that it helps them build their parenting skill because these are ways for that to help a lot. I have no idea where the butler is. I hope that she doesn't get in my way because sometimes the butlers can get in the way. So she's level one of parenting. I'm surprised. I would have thought she would have already... Uh, she was uh, potty training, so I would have thought that would have helped her. I could have sworn I had her do the potty training of of Sean. So we'll just do count, do that. So she has got her job, and so we're going to have her... I mean, the, the promotion task, that's something that I would expect still to be something you have to do. It was more that the daily... Actually, I'm not going to have her write a column. I'm going to have her write a book. Write a children's book. Okay. So you... Not going to chat. You're going to write also. I do, do want to give them... Actually, did, was the bills paid? Were the bills paid? It was my question. Looks like they're paid. So we're going to have her write... A... Screenplay because she is on the right aspiration for that. And Beatrice is all set to do her things. Kara, you're finished. So what we need to have Kara do is join her entertainment career. So we're going to go into her. We're going to find a job. And she is going to be an entertainer, but because she's a joke star, if she was actually to like go through, she would go the, not the musician rate, the other, the comedian rate, that's the rate, the route, route she would go. So it actually made sense for her to be a goofball. It actually for once that they tied in, but the issue, oh, she needs to be guitar or violin skill. And of course she doesn't have that because she's got the piano skill instead. So I'm going to have her actually write. So now she's got that. She's got to write three comedy routines and reach level six of comedy skill. And of course the comedian branch is like a ways off. But because she needs... And see, she does have the daily task. That's the thing. So if, I'll show you what I mean. If you go into the lessons here under parenthood, and I think it's under character values... Okay, so here it is. So it's the last page of the lessons. When a teen ages up to young adult, their character values progress, progress will be converted into traits. These traits will impact the Sim's day-to-day -day life. For example, a Sim that gets, gets the responsible trait will do better at their job, working hard without the stress. I can't say that I've noticed that. I think they still get stress, but maybe it's not as much. And automatically complete their daily task. It pays to have a good foundation. And so this is the part that I did get and I hadn't played probably with any Sims that had that trait since the February patch. And I finally just last week played 
on Friday played a game with the Sim with that trait, and they had to do their daily tasks. And they also didn't even get the regular, the special pop-ups you get, because you usually get special pop-ups to go with the trait. And she just got a regular one. But I've, that was the only fan, Sim that I had played that actually went to work to actually see. So I've only had that happen once of the times that Sims have, and I, but I've only had one Sim go to work one time. So we'll go back out. So we're going to have her practice because she needs to, but I don't want her practicing in the middle of the living room because that's not going to be very good. We'll bring this out here where nobody hopefully is and have her come and practice there. So there she goes. Now he, did he get any further in terms of, so he's level 10, so he can craft those emotional potions and then all he, we can pull him off of there because all he'll need to do is get the A, which is, he's only on a C, so it's going to take him a little bit of time to get there. Create emotion and then create emotion potion. So then he will finish that and we'll go move him on. And I think the whiz kid was actually the one that he needed to do. Uh oh, she's going to be playing right there by him. We'll see. <laughs> If I had known that, I would have... Well, of course I didn't. I didn't realize, but obviously she should have learned the violin skill instead of the other skill. So how is he doing in terms of his? He's he's completed that, so once they get the tick, I usually put them back to normal because there's no point in having them work hard anymore. And Lacey is writing, but not actually listening to the music. And we should have her have... Listen... Beatrice listen also. So they're just going to do their, their thing. I don't know. And then the, the toddlers are sleeping. She needs a bath. She needs to go to the body. She's a little bit hungry, but she's got to bed earlier. So she's like a lot further along. But look how hungry he, he is. He's going to need to eat too. So I'm thinking. So, oh, and we have an angry baby. We have a crying baby who's probably hungry. Okay, you're going to come over here and you're going to bottle feed. You're embarrassed anyway, so you can stop playing. <laughs> and you can then cuddle and bounce and do those fun things. Oh, we have a fire. Oh, no, we have a fire. Okay. Beatrice. No. You're the closest. So we're going to say not tense. <laughs> Baby's going to have to wait. Can we find, can we put this fire out? I haven't had a fire from one of these for a, for a very long time, I have to say. I'm going to keep it paused for a minute because he's, uh... <laughs> oh, I can't do anything. Oh, get this fire out. Does he have any food in his inventory? Yeah, can, he can't do anything. Can you not eat your food? Oh, look, the butler came, too. Okay. 84 simoleons. So you're going to come over here, and you're going <laughs> to... You're not going to do anything, because I'm on the wrong sim. You're going to come bottle feed the little baby. You're going to cuddle, and you're going to eat some of these uh, mushrooms. I don't know where you got that food from. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Just eat the mushrooms. Eat. Eat what I told you to eat. It'll be quicker. And it'll help you. Yeah, it'll help you feel better. Your tummy won't be so empty. And then we'll give you some other food. I'm going to open. We'll put that over here. You, Scarlet, you can come grab... Oh, those are... No, you can't grab a serving because those are bad. <laughs> and you're not having a bath because you're hungry. Let's see if we can get something that's not bad. There we go. Here, come grab a serving. You're still probably pretty hungry, so you should eat another mushroom. Is there food on the counter here? Oh, they were impeccable because I just gave him the grill master trait. So you're going to grab a serving over here. Hopefully that will help you. You kind of need to go to the potty unless you went. No, you didn't go in your diaper. So we're going to have you come over here and go potty when you're finished. And the butler's eating. Okay. You still got that tense, but you're so uh, happy that the fire is out, you're okay. 
how on earth did you, I have had, all our kids have done that and have, maybe his needs, maybe we're going to come over here and we're going to clubs, club gathering. Oh, we have to start our club. We stopped it. Oh, I wonder if they're all going to come over. Clubs are going to need to have a new club soon. Because I don't really want them coming and hanging out. And hopefully that helps your needs. And now you're going to come over here and try and do this again. And let's not have a fire again, please. And you should go have a shower. Take a, take a thoughtful shower, actually. And did you actually get your food? Because sometimes you don't. Sometimes you don't actually eat when you're supposed to, and you're just, I'm on the wrong little sim. So you're eating, you're going to go potty again, and you're going to go back to bed, and yeah, they are hanging out. <laughs> they are here. <laughs> Too bad we couldn't add childcare to it. So you're going to come here, and you're going to clean. So you need one more emotional potion. You can do that first. I want to take... Kara, and she's having... Why is she not having the shower? I've been noticing... I don't know if it's this house. They just don't do what... I tell them to have a shower, and they don't do it. I don't know if it's because people come in, and there's too many people. Oh, he's uncomfortable because he's filthy. Well, he's not filthy. He's uncomfortable because he's... grungy, and he becomes filthy in 12 hours. So, hopefully he still gets his promotion. <laughs> He's tense. Hopefully he doesn't start another fire. <laughs> Let's keep an eye. I haven't had a fire. I have had Sims catch fire on this, or start a fire, but he's level 10 of mental, so I wouldn't have expected that to happen because he's so high. I normally notice it when they're like a little lower that they start fires. That's why. Oh, he got a promotion. Good job, Nicholas. Good, good job. So he did that. Oops. And you're going to come here and take your shower. And then, of course, I don't know if that's a good drink or not. I'm trying to go on the inventory. There we go. How come I can't sell that? It's only 36, so I'm not going to actually... I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to... It didn't actually go in there. So you're going to go there. You're going to take your shower... And you're going to make a drink. We're just going to make drinks for everyone because then he'll get done quicker. And we are going to make just a Sunset Valley and then hopefully we will actually get to sell them. But uh, she probably, you know what? You may as well go work out. Go work out and... Maybe you shouldn't. Let me check on Scarlet needs. She needs a bath and she needs attention. And you have to practice. I'm going to have you go go here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here. I'm going to have you come practice over there. There you go. And Beatrice, you can come here and give little Scarlet a bath. Well, that'll help you with your skill. You are, did that, and let's check. So you can't do any more because you need to get a level A. You can do Artistic Prodigy because so you need to draw the painting pictures. So we're going to check your needs first. We're going to have you, <laughs> they're hanging out because <laughs> they're in our club, Rally the Troops. Probably what we need to do is have a current family club and then uh, have like, another club where the prior household members were. So I'll probably set that up off camera. So that helped a little bit. We're going to have you come and uh, brush your teeth, wash your hands and brush your teeth because the brushing your teeth actually helps you with your responsibility. Then you're going to draw an animal, people, <laughs> just set you up. Hopefully you can do all the drawing. And then by the time he's finished all those, he should have unlocked the monster. And there's some food there. 
I can't drag it. I've been able to drag these food, but maybe it's the butler food you can't drag and all the rest you can. I don't know. But I can't drag it at all. Usually you can drag it along around, so I think that's just a glitch. I think he probably could normally do it, so I'm going to have him go do that. And then when he's finished, someone needs to clean that. But this part has gone on long enough, so Shahir has pretty close to finishing his first, his uh, whiz kid aspiration, but he needs his A and also to work on some of his emotional, his character values. And he did already complete some, I think the motor one? Wrong Sim. He has completed the physically gifted, so he did the motor aspiration, so he also has to work on the rest of them. I think I might go through and give them... I think I'm going to get them the carefree trait. <laughs> or at least our main sims, the carefree trait. Let me look, because they, assuming they have the, the uh, points. She has them, so she's carefree, so any fires won't cause her any problems anymore. I'm going to check on him. I think I already did what I could for fortune, so he's on the last tier of this fortune, but they need to earn some more money, which we probably can sell some things in their inventories, and that will help too. Uh, but I'm going to go in here and go into the rewards store and to go into traits and get him carefree. Of course, he's okay because he didn't have it, but he does have uh, traits that make him tense sometimes. And carefree essentially means that they don't ever get tense no matter what happens, which is kind of nice. It's also a good one to use as a workaround for some some issues. And I was just like, if you remove traits and sometimes they're still tense. So I'm going to go into her. Nope. I'm going to go into her and... Actually, I was in the right one. I want to change the aspiration. I want to see... I don't know if I had looked out. She did complete the fabulously wealthy aspiration. So it's only Nicholas who needs to do that. So Because she did all those paintings she sold. So they help for her. So we'll leave her where she is. So we will leave them on this lovely view with the filthy bar. Because he's been making drinks galore all the time. But that is it for this part. Thanks very much for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.